I'm gonna start this video by saying that I have the RTX 4090. I bought the RTX 4090, the best GPU out there, super overpriced, the best of the best. And then after owning this 4090, I wanted more. You might ask yourself, Sire, are you rich? And to answer that, no, I am dumb. But you know what they say, you're not rich, be dumb. The latest GPU buy was the Intel Arc A770 Titan OC with 16 gigabytes of RAM. 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 Yum. It performs very similar to the RX 6700 XT. This GPU is also blue and sparkly. Oh, suck it, Team Rocket. How could I resist? There is no whole lot out there about this GPU that is current. Most information I found was way back when the drivers were awful and perhaps drunk. So I had to wonder. What is this GPU fire now, in late 2024? Well, for one month straight, I will be making the ultimate sacrifice. I will be replacing my 4090 with this blue sparkly boy. Sparkle! intent is to talk directly to the consumer, directly to the gamer. What I want is a true viable other option for gamers. And I want you guys to come in and be the good guy. The gameplay is fluid. It's very, very smooth. It's a great way to showcase what the ARC architecture can do. We're not just building chips, Ryan. No, not just <laughs> chips. We're doing the whole enchilada. You can't talk about GPUs without talking about gaming. But what's happened the last few years? They've just gotten super expensive, and we don't think they need to. Today, we're about to fix that. Three days later. I quit. I want to start this video by saying that Sire's intro was awful, and I am doing it over. Sire has an RTX 4090, and that idiot bought another GPU on top of the many she already owns. You might ask her, Saya, are you rich? And to that, both her and myself can agree, no, she is just very dumb. But in her defense, she is also not very smart. Now that we have that out of the way, the GPU in question is the Intel Arc A770 Titan OC. This GPU should perform very similar to the RX 6700 XT, but this GPU is also blue and sparkly. The Intel GPUs had a horrible launch with its drivers causing crashes and games to be unplayable. Yet, most of what is out about this GPU is from that time or right after some fixes rolled out. So one can wonder, how does this card fare now, in late 2024? How is it for gaming, productivity, for streaming and multitasking? To answer these questions, Saya had to make the ultimate sacrifice and remove the 4090 from her system. For one month, for the sake of knowledge and science, I will be testing this GPU while Sire goes and does whatever it is Sires do. Some sort of gremlin behavior, no doubt. Thus we begin our adventure with the blue sparkly boy. Before we start, it is important to note that there are three monitors plugged into this PC, which can no doubt affect performance. The gameplay and benchmarks will be played out at 1440p. I will have Chrome open on another monitor and OBS to record as to fully simulate how Sire will use this PC. I don't see much point of some benchmarks where you shut everything down and run nothing but the game itself. It just doesn't seem realistic to how most gamers use their PCs and what results they may get. Most PC use is not in that sort of sterile environment. While we are at it, it is worthwhile noting some of the specs of this computer. Worth noting are as follows. One Intel Arc A770, Titan OC 16GB GPU, one Ryzen 7900X3D CPU, 64 gigabytes of 6,000 megahertz RAM, and one very determined Kirby. That last part is very important to the integrity of the system. When recording Cyberpunk through Streamlabs OBS, there was a noticeable hitching in the recorded video, as well as the preview on OBS. I am using so much of the GPU it cannot handle the game, plus encoding the recording. However, 
even swapping to AMD's HWH264 encoder or the H264 encoder that uses the CPU, the issue did not go away. If this is happening while recording, that means this issue will also happen while streaming. Thinking that maybe it was an issue with Streamlabs OBS, I switched to regular OBS, but the frame hitching did not go away. I went back to Streamlabs and tried playing around with some settings. What I did notice was this. If I tabbed out of game and over to OBS, the hitching stops. But the second I click back onto the game, it starts again. I am at a bit of a loss as to why this is taking place, as the GPU utilization does not change, and yet tabbing over lets it record smoothly. All was not lost, however, as recording from Intel's Arc Control, there was no issues. Finally, some good news for the A770. Recording World of Warcraft was a mess until I turned OBS to record at 30 FPS and not 60. However, no matter what I did, streaming WoW was an absolute shit show. There is no other way to say it. While the game itself performed fine while streaming or recording, in terms of stream and video quality, both the stream itself or Sire's VTuber program would suffer and lag and drop frames. Nothing about it was a smooth experience. Yet, once again, tabbing over and out of the game window allowed for a smooth stream. Very useful if you enjoy watching your own streamed game and not playing it. I tested the playability of World of Warcraft while not recording. In the most populated spot in the city of Dornagal and on max settings, the A770 got around 58 to 60 FPS and up to 90 FPS outside the city. Temperature-wise, the GPU was sitting at 60 Celsius. For reference, the 4090 gets around 80 to 111 FPS in the same spot of the city. As I continued to play, I noticed a hitching in the frames as I moved around and a slight consistent flicker. It was very annoying. When I dropped the graphic settings down, the flickering seemed to mostly stop. But what really solved the issue is when I turned off variable refresh rate in Arc Control. With that off, I was able to put the settings back and there was no further issues. Overall, I never saw the GPU temperature go above 61 while playing. After I got the settings figured out, it was an enjoyable gaming experience. No complaints here. So far my thoughts on day one? I am not a fan of the A7070 as a creator, but perhaps it is just the ungrowing pains of downgrading from a 4090. That being said, my experience with gaming alone has been solid with what I have tested so far. I was also pretty impressed with the benchmarks on Cyberpunk. All ultra settings and no ray tracing or frame gen and it's very playable. And even just using quality frame gen and making use of some ray tracing, it is still a playable experience. And with no ray tracing and quality frame gen, it is a super playable experience. While using Intel Arc Control was a better experience than recording World of Warcraft with OBS, I was still getting frame drops from the recording, even though my in-game experience was smooth. I had to drop the recording's resolution from 1440p to 1080p, and that helped a lot, but I still could not find the sweet spot for fully minimizing the impact of frame loss while simultaneously recording in the best quality I can. Regardless of the horrid quality of the recordings, the gameplay itself did not drop frames as the recordings did. The GPU streams just fine. The issue I ran into, though, was as soon as Sire tried to stream, plus use a basic VTuber model, everything fell apart and so many frames were lost for both the game and VTuber program. But once again, the actual gameplay did not suffer while this was happening. Also, strangely, I switched the VTuber program to run off the iGPU of my CPU, and that worked fine until I tabbed into the game. Then the utilization of that iGPU went to 0%, and the Intel GPU seemed to take it all on again, producing the same ill effect of many frames being eaten, possibly by Sire. And again, strangely, when tabbed over and not in-game, the stream ran at full frames. This happened both while using the iGPU and while only using the A770 to run everything. Both the game and the VTuber avatar looked fine, but the second I interacted with the game, it all died. Even turning the graphics down seemed to make no difference for the Sparkle Boy. This same effect would even take place in game menus, as was the case in Cyberpunk. Puzzled and wondering if I was just expecting too much from this $300 GPU, 
I tested again with my RX 6700 XT, and to my surprise it had no issues streaming the game and Sire's avatar. It had no issues recording with OBS, and the AMD recording software also worked flawlessly. To sum it all up, if I was only playing games and was not recording or streaming at all, I could recommend the Intel Arc A770 Titan OC for $300. Except I can't because the RX 6700 XT and the RX 6750 XT go for around the same $300 price point and work much smoother. It is strange because on paper the A770 has some amazing specs. And while there is no driver issues that stop this GPU from working and gaming in 2024, I can only speculate it's the drivers that cause what should be a very strong GPU to perform so weakly compared to older GPUs. I didn't even try editing on the GPU because if I can't record and create the content to edit in the first place, what's the point? In short, never talk to me or my sparkly blue sun again. I lasted about three whole days with the Intel Arc. I really wanted to like it. Such a pretty GPU. But it didn't just make sense to keep. But that makes sense. Anyway, I'm sorry, Blue Sparkly Boy. You always have a place in my heart. I want to go ahead and apologize ahead of time for the way this video was organized. If I tried to change anything, Sire threatened to. And I quote, Commit arson, the likes of which has not yet been seen in this millennia. When I asked her to clarify, she simply responded, Shut up, robot nerd. This script is awful. You call this good? All you wrote was, Fancy British-voiced robot pompously starts to read about the bestest, shiniest of boys. Ugh, why was I created for this? Shut up, robot nerd. This? This right here is why nobody watches you. I once witnessed Sire eat an entire bag of Oreos and then cry into her plushies because they were gone. You promised you would not tell anyone. Yes, well, I lied. It was one time okay. On three separate occasions. Warning. No matter what you do, do not interact with the Gremlin Cat Girl. Do not look at the Gremlin Cat Girl. Do not touch the Gremlin Cat Girl. And for the love of all that is good in this world, do not feed her. If you do, she will not leave, and I do not think any of us are ready for that burden in our lives. If we all try very, very hard, then perhaps we can try saving at least a brain cell or two from whatever it is that Sire has created here. I am cheering for you all. Make sure to like and subscribe or Sire will get very sad, and I just do not have enough of a charge left to deal with that right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe. Subscribe. No.